Hi, this tutorial video is dedicated to time and sales. You can find it in Market Watch Component Statistics. First, enter a symbol and click Apply. So let's figure out what each of the columns means. First, our price and volume. Side tick direct displays the side of the trade according to the direction of the trade. If the current trade price is higher than the previous one, this is a buy and vice versa. Side aggressor. The trade side is calculated based on the exchange data. The exchange assigns a side for each trade, an aggressor side. Usually, the aggressive side of the trade is a market order, but not always. Bid, ask, the price of the best offer and best ask. Bid, ask size. Spread, the difference between bid and ask. Market center, the exchange on which the trade took place. Trade time. Speed, a visual display of the speed of the trade's flow. The more trades per unit of time, the longer the blue line. The last column is Sell Buy Balance, visual display of the current supply and demand balance. You can find Volume Filter on the control panel. It allows for removing small trades from time and sales. We set the desired value, for example, 1,000 shares, and we will only display those trades whose volume equals or exceeds 1,000 shares. Less Volume Filter allows us to filter out trades whose volume is lower than the specified one. For example, we want to filter trades with a volume above 1,000 but below 5,000. Accordingly, we enter this value and click Apply. And there is also an option to filter the spread in the same way. To view the time and sales history, you need to activate the pause mode. And then, you can scroll down the list. Hidden Ticks Activation In Time and Sales, they are displayed in turquoise color. Next, let's move on to the Time and Sales Aggregate Mode. Activate the Aggregate button on the control panel and click Apply. You can aggregate trades by price and by order. By aggregating data by price, we combine into one value all trades that took place in a row at the same price. Aggregating data by order. All trades are combined by orders. It occurs if the price and time of the trades match. Thus, it is assumed that this is one large trade filled with small orders. Next, we will determine what each column means in the aggregate mode. Delta TD, delta calculated by tick direction. If the current price is higher than the previous one, the entire delta will be for the buy. Delta aggressor, delta calculated by the aggressor side. It's more accurate. It calculates sales and buys separately in each print. In a separate article, learn more about the difference between the two types of the delta. The link is in the description below the video. Max trade, the value of the maximum trade size. Trades, a number of trades in each print. Average trade size. The next one is the hidden volume column. Now, let's take a look at the setup menu. Here you can set limits for each of the columns. Let's consider limits set up on the example of volumes. Enter the desired value in the value field. Next, select the font color, background color, and borders of the cell. You can also set working time for each limit. Alert. Turn on the sound notification when the specified volume appears. Repeat. The sound signal until it is canceled. You can turn off the alert in Setup, Stop Local Alerts, or by pressing the Control E. Log. Displaying the alert in the list of all triggered alerts. It is located in Market Watch, Component, Alerts, 
Alert log. Message. Pop-up notification about a new alert. Focus. If we set it to on, the window will flash when an alert is triggered. This is useful when there are many such windows to see exactly where the alert was triggered. Sound. Here you can upload your sound files. Next, click New, and the limit is added. Then we can change columns to display. And next, consider the basic settings. Buy Sell Balance Time displays the total delta for the specified number of seconds. This setting applies to the last column, Buy Sell Balance. Speed Time adjusts the display of trading speed in the speed column in milliseconds. In this case, we take into account trades for the last four seconds. Include milliseconds in the time column. Row color, highlighting the entire row with a color to display the trade direction. By aggressor, by tick direct, or without highlighting. If you need any help with the time and sales configuration, don't hesitate to contact our technical support by the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon.